Hey guys, it's Diane with My Boat Life. Hey, so it's been a really long winter and it's finally time to start getting the boat ready for our spring launch and get our boating season started. So clearly I'm not actually at the boat, but that's our boat, Seltzer Water. It's a Sea Ray 2002 410 Sundancer. We boat in Maryland, so our season runs from about May through October. And we usually start getting our boat ready for spring by April 1st. So that gives us about a month or so to get things ready before we're ready to splash. I say we, but the truth is Captain Brian does all the work. If you've watched any of our other videos, you've seen him do all of our different boat maintenance projects. Um, and he's been doing all of that work since we started boating over 20 years ago, including getting the boat ready for spring launch. So we have inboards and it's a 41 foot boat. We leave it at the marina over the winter. And when we're ready, um, the marina drops it in and takes it around to our slip. Your boat might be a bit different. It may have outboards or be a smaller boat with a trailer, but this should hopefully serve as a good checklist. So with Captain Brian's help, we're, we're good to go. Here's a quick rundown of the 10 main steps that we take to get the boat ready for spring launch. We have full videos for some of these steps that I'll link to in the description below. And at the end of the video, I'll also include a few things that we do uh, to get the boat ready for the season after it splashes. Where's my drink, honey? <laughs> Before we even unwrap the boat, the first thing we do is sand and paint the bottom. But first, we need to find the boat in the marina yard. Sounds crazy, but it's really hard to recognize when it's all wrapped up and we never know exactly where the marina is gonna put our boat during winter. This looks like it. Got some paint chips came off. I have to take care of that. This looks like my boat. Okay, we found the boat. Now, like I said, the first thing we do is sand and paint the bottom. It's a really messy job, so there's no reason unwrapping it uh, before we get done the painting. How much we paint depends on how well it held up from the previous year. We use multi-year paint, so most years we can get away with just touching up the paint in places where it wore off. And of course, we're also scraping off any barnacles. There you go. Next, we replace all of our zincs every year. They're really cheap, so it's not worth it to skip a year and not replace them. Zincs will protect all of the metal parts of your boat, like props, trim tabs, or out dries if you have them from electrolysis and corrosion. So we go ahead and we change them out at the beginning of every season. Next, it's finally time to remove all that shrink wrap. Last year, our oldest daughter, Emma, started helping Captain Brian with this job, which was really great because this is actually a really big job because there's so much shrink wrap on our 41 foot boat. We cut it off in manageable sections and then we have the marina recycle it. Some people try to save it for another year, but our boat is just so big that we feel like it would be more trouble than it's worth. Plus there's all this extra rigging that is under the shrink wrap that needs to come down too and it would be a ton of work for us to try to store it all, put it back up ourselves in the fall. So it's a job that's really best to leave for the marina. So after we take all the wrap down, we have to put all the canvas up and we have to do it on the same day so that we don't leave our boat all open and exposed. Again, another big job because our 41 foot boat has a lot of canvas. We have to reassemble our bimini top with canvas and all the pieces around our camper top. Emma was a big help with both the wrap and the canvas last year, and I know she's planning to help Captain Brian again this year. All right, the shrink wrap's off, canvas is up. Next step is to wash it and wax it, but that's next week because our arms are falling off. After the wrap is off, we're also able to get inside the boat so that we can run power to it and begin charging our batteries. We use a connector for our shore power that accepts a regular power cord, and then we run a long extension line to the power outlets in the boat yard. The next really time intensive part of spring boat prep is washing and waxing the boat before it launches. We usually wax from the paint line up to the rub rail before it goes in the water, because above the rub rail can be done while it's in the water. 
Again, our boat is so big that it often takes several days that we spread out over a few weekends so Captain Brian's arms don't fall off. And maybe one day I might actually be able to convince him to have someone help him wax the boat. So this video is about all the steps that we take to get our boat ready for launch. I'm not gonna take a deep dive into all the possible things that could be wrong with your boat that you need to make sure that you fix or check before you get it in the water. But just a kind of a reminder that this is your last chance to take a look at your boat before it goes in the water. Walk around the hull, check out things, make sure everything looks good. At this point, we're getting ready for the actual launch of our boat. So we will set up our lines on our bow and by the stern, um, as well as our fenders to make it really easy for the marina when they launch the boat, they tow it around to our slip at the dock and then tie it off. So we also go down to the dock and make sure any fenders are in place that we normally use at the dock so that it's ready when the boat comes around. Okay, this is a simple but really important thing, so it deserves its own step. Put in the plug. Put in the plug. The marina should do it before they launch your boat, but we like to do it for peace of mind. We pop it in, we know it's been done, and the boat is ready to launch. And the final step, splash your boat. Some people like to be there for their boat launch, but we're not usually there because the actual launch day usually happens on a weekday and sometimes without much notice. It depends on whenever they can fit us into their launch schedule. So usually we'll just get a call like, hey, your boat's in the water. That's why we get everything set up and make sure it's absolutely ready to go before we let the marina know we're ready to launch. So the boat's in the water, but there's still some work that needs to be done to get it ready for the season. We usually go down on the first weekend after the boat launches. Um, it's a bit of a work weekend, but we're just happy to be back in the water. Captain Brian usually arrives at the marina a few hours before me, and then I come down later with the kids and the dog. So it's just easier for him to get down there and take care of things and try to clean up a bit before we all get there. So my big job when I get down to the boat for the first weekend is getting the cabin set up. Um, I'll come down with everything that we need for our bedding and stocking the galley. Um, clean, I'll clean out the fridge and wipe down everything. Um, just making sure we have all of our essentials for the first weekend on the boat, which, you know, number one thing is coffee. So please like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to us if you want to see more of our boat life adventures. We've got tons more coming this season. You can take a deeper dive into some of our spring prep boat videos linked below, or go ahead and jump right into this video now of Captain Brian and Emma taking down the wrap and setting up the canvas from last year. See you on the water.